The history of computers dates back to the early 1800s, when the first mechanical calculating devices were invented. These machines were designed to perform simple calculations and were mostly used in scientific and engineering applications. However, it wasn't until the mid 20th century that computers became widely available and began to revolutionize the way we live, work, and communicate. The first mechanical calculating device was the abacus, which dates back to ancient times. The abacus consisted of a frame with rods, each of which held a set of beads. By moving the beads back and forth on the rods, users could perform simple arithmetic calculations. The abacus was widely used in Asia and was still in use as late as the 19th century. In the early 1800s, inventors began to experiment with more sophisticated mechanical calculating devices. One of the most important early machines was the difference engine, invented by Charles Babbage. The difference engine was designed to perform complex mathematical calculations automatically, and it was considered a significant advance over earlier mechanical calculators. Unfortunately, Babbage was never able to build a working difference engine, in part because of technical difficulties and in part because of a lack of funding. However, his work laid the foundation for future developments in computing technology. The first electronic computer was the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, ENIAC, which was built in 1945. ENIAC was a massive machine, consisting of more than 17,000 vacuum tubes, 70,000 resistors, and 10,000 capacitors. It was programmed by setting switches and plugging cables into sockets, and it was capable of performing complex calculations much faster than any earlier machine. ENIAC was initially developed for military applications, such as calculating ballistics tables for artillery. However, it quickly became clear that electronic computers had many other potential uses, and researchers began to explore new applications. One of the earliest electronic computers to be used for scientific research was the Manchester Mark I, built in England in 1949. The Manchester Mark I was a smaller, more affordable machine than ENIAC, and it was used for a wide range of research projects in fields such as biology, physics, and chemistry. One of the key challenges in developing electronic computers was the need to create programs that could take advantage of the machine's capabilities. Unlike mechanical calculators, electronic computers were capable of performing a wide range of operations, but they required specific instructions to do so. Early electronic computers were programmed using machine language, which consisted of sets of instructions written in binary code. However, machine language was difficult to use and understand, and it was often challenging to write programs that could be run on different types of machines. In the early 1950s, researchers began to develop higher-level programming languages, which allowed programmers to write instructions in a more natural language. One of the first high-level programming languages was Fortran, which was developed by IBM in the mid-1950s. Fortran was designed for scientific and engineering applications and was widely used in academic and research settings. Other early programming languages included COBOL, developed in the late 1950s for business applications, and LISP, developed in the late 1950s for artificial intelligence research. In the 1960s and 1970s, electronic computers were still primarily used in research and industrial settings. However, that began to change in the 1970s, as the first personal computers were developed. One of the first personal computers was the Altair 8800, which was developed in 1975 by a company called MITS. The Altair was sold as a kit, and users had to assemble it themselves. It was controlled by switches and had no display, but it was a significant step toward making computers accessible to the general public. The breakthrough came in 1977, when Apple Computer introduced the Apple II, the first mass-produced personal computer with color graphics and a built-in keyboard. The Apple II was a huge success, 
and it helped to popularize personal computing and to establish Apple as a major player in the computer industry. Other companies soon followed suit, and by the early 1980s, personal computers were becoming more affordable and more powerful. IBM introduced the IBM PC in 1981, which quickly became the industry standard, and Microsoft released its first version of Windows in 1985. The early personal computers were mostly used for word processing, spreadsheet analysis, and other productivity applications. However, in the 1990s, the rise of the Internet and the World Wide Web transformed the way we think about computing and communication. The Internet was originally developed in the 1960s as a way for researchers to share information and resources. However, it wasn't until the 1990s that the Internet began to be used by the general public. One of the key developments was the World Wide Web, which was invented by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. The World Wide Web was a system of interlinked hypertext documents that could be accessed using the Internet. It quickly became a popular way to share information and to communicate with others. In the late 1990s, the dot-com boom saw the rise of a new generation of internet-based companies, such as Amazon, eBay, and Google. These companies used the internet to create new markets and to revolutionize the way we shop, search for information, and communicate with one another. Since the early days of computing, the technology has evolved at a rapid pace. Today's computers are vastly more powerful and sophisticated than the early mechanical calculators and electronic computers. One of the key developments has been the shift towards smaller, more portable devices. In the 1980s and 1990s, laptops began to become more common, and in the 2000s, smartphones and tablets began to take over. Today, Many people carry powerful computers in their pockets or purses, and these devices are capable of performing many of the same tasks as traditional desktop computers. Another key development has been the growth of artificial intelligence and machine learning. These technologies are designed to allow computers to learn and adapt on their own, without explicit programming. They have a wide range of potential applications, from self driving cars to medical diagnosis. Looking to the future, it's clear that computing technology will continue to evolve at a rapid pace. Some of the key areas of development include quantum computing, which uses the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations much faster than traditional computers, and virtual and augmented reality, which have the potential to transform the way we interact with computers and with one another. Another area of focus is the Internet of Things, which involves connecting everyday objects to the Internet and allowing them to communicate with one another. This has the potential to revolutionize many industries, from manufacturing to healthcare. The history of computers is a fascinating and complex story that spans more than two centuries. From the earliest mechanical calculators to today's sophisticated smartphones and artificial intelligence systems, Computers have transformed the way we live, work, and communicate. As we look to the future, it's clear that computing technology will continue to play a central role in shaping our world. Do you know other interesting facts about computers that were not mentioned? Please comment below and share your knowledge.